Hey everyone, Tales of Greninja here. Today I'm going to show you how to clean Game Boy Advance games that do not work. So, these are a few games I got at a place called Core Gaming. It's in Salem, New Hampshire. It's a pretty awesome store. They have like retro games. This one I actually didn't get. Uh, this is Donkey Kong Land 2. I got at a different store, but yeah, that's a whole other story. But I'm going to show you how to clean, or tips how to clean these games because... Yeah, if you got, like, games that don't work, like, I got Cartoon Network Speedway, it's like Mario Kart Super Circuit, basically. You could just rub the contacts with a Q-tip, just like that, and then just pop in, pop it in your Game Boy. And then it works. Yep, so there's Cartoon Network Speedway. And, yeah, you maybe you have, like, some other games, like, here's, like, this one beaten-up copy of Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, yeah, this one does work. I, I don't know if you can see it in there, but it's, like, a little... Yeah, it's, like, Sharpie writing on it. I actually bought this just, uh, because I just need to complete the collection. There was, like, a two... Like, a two for four deal. Or not two for four, four, four for ten. Yeah, so, like, these two games work. This is one that did not work. I got Bionicle. Yeah. So, at most Nintendo games, it's supposed to say Nintendo on the bottom. And if it has... If it, if the Nintendo is either, like, on... Like, it's pixelated, that means that it does not work. And it won't turn on either. So... There is another solution. This is like an easier solution. You can get these screw bits off of eBay or Amazon. Um, I have a link to one of my videos if you want one. So, yeah, you get the screw out. Just line the cartridge. And then, yeah, there's there's a battery inside. And if the battery is does not work, then it needs to be cleaned. But you can just take, um, like... One of these rubbing alcohol wipes. And then just rub it on this contacts like this. Yeah, and there's no dirt on it somehow. Yeah, it does take a while, but yeah, you you get the idea. So Wow, look at look at the inside. I hope I hope the battery's not corroded inside of there. Yeah, I'll just take the game. I won't screw it back in, but um I think if I'm right, it's supposed to work. So, I'll just slide it in there. And there you go. I got this one to work. Yep, this is about Bionicle. It's just called Bionicle. Yep, so the game works perfectly. Yep, so you can have fun playing all your adventure games. And then you can just put the screw right back in there like that. Alright, there you go. And also, if um, maybe if you like shove the cartridge in too... Well, actually, I just got this one to work then. Well, never mind then. I'll just wait until it gets to the main menu. Yeah, you can press, uh... Yeah, so you can just, uh... Um, pick, um, an episode there. These are, like, the... GBA video packs. They basically have video on them. They have like different ones. They got Disney, they got Courage, the Cowardly Dog, all sorts of them. And um, this is one that definitely didn't work. This is Harry Potter Quidditch World Club. Um, and um, I'll get the solution. Just let me jump cut real quick. Well, um, another way that you could do it is get some hydrogen peroxide and just rub it in with the Q-tip. Just rub it back and forth as many times as you want. Yeah, it's actually pretty damaged, but I'll just hold on to it. Yeah. And then I'll get the other side, too. Oh, 
and hopefully it'll work. So uh, here's the Quidditch World Cup Harry Potter game, and uh, even if it doesn't work the first time, you can try it again. But yeah, just pop it in there like that, and there we go. I got it to work. Sorry for the shining light in the background. I never actually played a Harry Potter game before, so I think this is my first one. Yep, so the Harry Potter game works. Yep, so the Harry Potter game works. Yeah, and this is my first one as well. And now for um, Game Boy Colors and uh, Game Boy. Uh, original Game Boy, so, um, you may think that blowing in the cartridge is a good idea, but it's actually not, because as soon as I turn the cartridge over, this is why I don't, we don't do it. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it, but there's, like, grime and everything in there, which is why I don't do it myself. I can show you that it does not work, it might, maybe it will work at the first try, but, who knows. Okay, so, alright, so I guess I did get it to work. I don't know how that how that happened. It was just tricking me, but if you could just go inside, you can get these little screws. Whoop, sorry. I could just... Yeah, there we go. You could just... Yeah, and there's some LTK thing on there. I don't know what that is. Yeah, you can just rub on the contacts. I rub with the rubbing out with one of these, the rubbing alcohols, and uh, your game should work. Yep. So I already know it does work though. Yep, so the game already works, so, yep. So there's uh, the Game Boy Color game. And you could just screw back in there like that. And also clean some of this, because it's really disgusting. And I also got this copy of Donkey Kong Land 2. I sometimes forget a little bit when I say Donkey Kong. So, I believe it does work. Yep, it does. Yep, so the game does work. Yep. So, yep, the game works. So, yeah. And you can also un um, open up the inside. It's pretty disgusting inside. I didn't even open this, so I'll just show you it's on YouTube. Okay, so it's okay and everything. It's just all dirty and everything. Look how dirty it is. I can understand why they picked yellow for uh, on this game. They did the same with the Pokemon games. Like they had like different color, like Pokemon yellow. It was yellow, red. It was red. Uh, crystal, it was like a clear blue. So, uh, yeah. That one works, at least. I'm gonna have fun playing this, so I'll just have to get rid of the save datas on the games. So, uh, yep. That's it for this video and i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next one peace bye